Shalom, kembali lagi bersama saya di kanal Praise the Living God Saudara-saudara yang terkasih dalam Yesus Kristus Tuhan kita Ada banyak orang di luar sana, terutama di luar Kristen yang masih mempertanyakan Kenapa umat Kristen menyebut atau menjadikan Yesus sebagai Tuhan Manusia kok disembah, Yesus kok disebut anak Tuhan, dan Tuhan kok beranak Itulah beberapa cemohon yang dilontarkan orang orang di luar Kristen yang selalu mempertanyakan kenapa Yesus disembah oleh umat Kristen emang siapakah Yesus itu kali ini kita akan menyaksikan wawancara kesaksian dari seorang Maria Joseph Mario Joseph Mario Joseph adalah seorang anak ketiga dari enam bersaudara warga negara India tepatnya di kota Kerala Selatan yang sudah menjadi imam masjid pada usia 18 tahun Kemudian dia menjadi seorang Kristen dan ayahnya pernah mencoba membunuhnya. Hari ini dia adalah seorang pengkhotbah Katolik di India. Kasusnya unik di dunia. Dia adalah ulama Muslim pertama yang memeluk agama Kristen yang di dunia Islam pasti akan dihukum mati. Sampai kuburan kotanya di India ada batu nisan dengan namanya dan di bawahnya ada peti mati dengan patung tanah liat seukurannya. Ayahnya mengatakan kepadanya, jika kamu ingin menjadi seorang Kristen, saya harus membunuhmu. Tetapi sampai hari ini, pria ini masih hidup. Sebelum kita menyaksikan wawancara eksklusif dari seorang Mario Joseph ini, baiklah kita membaca firman Tuhan mengenai siapakah Yesus itu. Firman Tuhan yang pertama kita ambil dari Yohanes 1 ayat 1 sampai 3. Dengan judul periskop, firman yang telah menjadi manusia. Ayat 1. Pada mulanya adalah firman, firman itu bersama-sama dengan Allah, dan firman itu adalah Allah. Ayat kedua, Ia pada mulanya bersama-sama dengan Allah. Ayat ketiga, Segala sesuatu dijadikan oleh dia, dan tanpa dia tidak ada satu pun, tidak ada suatu pun yang telah jadi dari segala yang telah dijadikan. Jadi dari kesimpulan Yohanes 1 ayat 1 sampai 3 ini, adalah firman itu adalah Allah, Sang Pencipta. Firman Tuhan yang kedua kita ambil dari Matius 3 ayat 17 dengan judul periskopnya Yesus dibaptis Yohanes ayat 17 Lalu terdengarlah suara dari sorga yang mengatakan Inilah anakku yang kukasihi, kepadanya lah aku berkenan Jadi kesimpulan dari ayat Matius 3 ayat 17 ini adalah Yesus adalah anak Allah Firman Tuhan yang ketiga kita ambil dari Yohanes 1 ayat 14 dan judul periskop yang sama dari ayat yang firman Tuhan yang pertama yaitu firman yang telah menjadi manusia ayat 14 firman itu telah menjadi manusia dan diam di antara kita dan kita telah melihat kemuliaannya yaitu kemuliaan yang diberikan kepadanya sebagai anak tunggal Bapa penuh kasih karunia dan kebenaran jadi kesimpulan yang bisa ditarik dari firman Tuhan Yohanes 1 ayat 14 ini adalah Firman itu adalah Yesus. Firman Tuhan yang terakhir kita ambil dari Yohanes 10 ayat 30. Dengan judul periskop, Yesus ditolak orang Yahudi. Ayat 30. Aku dan Bapa adalah satu. Jadi kesimpulan yang bisa ditarik dari ayat 30 ini, Yesus dan Allah Bapa adalah satu. Demikian pembacaan firman Tuhan untuk menguatkan hati kita dan menjelaskan siapa hakikatnya Yesus itu. Yakni, Yesus adalah anak Allah. Dan Yesus adalah firman Allah yang menjadi manusia, sekaligus Yesus adalah Allah itu sendiri. Selamat menyaksikan kesaksian dari seorang Mario Joseph, Tuhan Yesus memberkati. When exactly did you start to think for the first time, this isn't true? When did you start to turn away from Islam, or, or I mean, what made you begin to pursue Christianity? Okay, the, 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 while I was working in a Muslim masjid as an imam, as a parish priest, once I preached in my parish that Jesus Christ is not God. For me, God was only Allah. And I believe Allah never married, so no son for Allah. So I preached there that Jesus is not God. Then somebody asked me, who is Jesus? From the crowd. Maybe a Muslim, but he asked me, who is Jesus? I was preaching, he's not God. But the question, who is he? To know who is he, I read the entire Quran once again. 114 chapters, 6,666 verses in Quran. When I read it, the name of Prophet Muhammad I found in Quran four places, but the name of Jesus I found 25 places. 
there itself i was little confused why quran giving more preference for jesus and second thing i could not see any women's name in quran prophet muhammad's mother name or wife's name or children name no in the quran there is only one women name i found maryam the mother of jesus no other women name and in the holy quran chapter 3 the name of the chapter is family of maryam and the holy quran chapter 19 the name of the chapter itself is maryam one chapter is maryam so i was very curious to know why this quran says all these things about maryam holy quran chapter 3 verses 34 onwards says that mary was born without original sin she never committed any sin in her life she was ever virgin uh, quran chapter 50 verses 23 says that she went to heaven with her physical body even the assumption is written in holy quran and then about jesus when i read chapter 3 verses 45 to 55 verses there are 10 points which quran makes about jesus the first thing quran says kalimatullah the arabic word which means word of god and the second thing ruhullah which means spirit of god and the third is isal masih which means jesus christ so quran gives the name for jesus word of god spirit of god jesus christ and then quran says that jesus spoke when he was very small like two days old after his birth he began to speak quran says that jesus created a live bird with mud he took some mud from the bird when he breathed it into it became a live bird so i think that he can give life he give life to a mud clay and then quran says that jesus cured a man born blind and a man with low order my leprosy etc continuously quran says that jesus give life to dead people jesus went to heaven he is still alive and he will come again when i saw all these things in quran my thinking was what the quran says about uh, muhammad you know according to quran prophet muhammad is not the word of god not the spirit of god never spoke when he was two days old never created any bird with mud never cured any sick people never raised any dead people he himself died and according to islam he is not alive and he will not come back so there is lot of difference between these two prophets i, I, I don't call jesus as god you know my idea was he is a prophet but he is a prophet greater than muhammad so one day i went to my teacher the one who taught me 10 years in arabic college and i asked him teacher how the god created the universe then he said god created the universe through the word through the word then my question word is creator or creation must clear it my question whether the word of god is creator or creation quran says jesus is word of god if my teacher said the word of god is creator which means jesus is creator then the muslims must become christian suppose if he say the word is creation he will be trapped you know why he said everything created through the word suppose if he say the word is creation then how the god created the word wow so he cannot say the word is creator cannot say the word is creation so he was quite angry he pushed me out of his room and said word is not the creator not the creation you get out from me he said If you see things so clearly, why don't all Muslims convert to Christianity? Why don't they accept this? They they say the word is creation. They try to prove they say the word is not the creator, not the creation, but uh, not God. Not God. Not the not the creator, not the creation. So not God and not creation also. So they don't equal with God. That's all their problem. So then when he said that I told my teacher word is not the creator not the creation that is why christian says word is son of god Then she told me if there is a son for god i must show him the wife of god without wife no chance for having a son Then i showed a portion from the quran quran says that god can see without eyes god can talk without tongue god can hear without ears it's written in quran i said if that is the case he can have a child without a wife So there we have a big argument and you know at the end what I did I took my Quran kept on my chest and I said Allah tell me what should I do because your Quran says Jesus is still alive Muhammad is no more you tell me whom should I accept after my prayer I open Quran I didn't ask anyone I ask only to my Allah when I open Quran I saw chapter 10 verse 94 you know what Quran says fa in kuntum fi shakkin mimma anzalna ilayka fas'al alladhina yaqra'una alkitaba min qablik laqad ja'aka alhaq If you have any doubt in this Quran which I gave to you go and read the Bible or ask the people those who read the Bible the truth is already revealed in that 
So if you ask me who made me Christian, it's not any fathers, it's not any sisters, it's not any bishops, it's not any cardinal, it's not even Pope. But the Holy Quran converted me to Christianity.